on Australian national TV, got over a few million views nationally there and here in Australia. Here's the footage in case you missed it. Check it out. I was really impressed with the way they covered me, especially the day today tonight. It's a program awesome. So definitely mass media is getting on the bandwagon. Finally, thumbs up. Check out the footage. Here it is. Post your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this vid if you care for. Thanks for watching. 30 bananas a day, which is 11,000 a year, Whoa. all in the bid to maintain his radical vegan menu. Typical day is a 10 kilo watermelon or a 20 pound watermelon for breakfast. For lunch, it's probably like 20 bananas. And for dinner, it's either 20 bananas, followed by a salad of maybe tomato and celery chopped. 20 bananas. Harley heads up his Banana Republic and has already welcomed almost 10,000 members worldwide into his all-natural but extreme lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Harley Johnston joins us now from Adelaide. Good morning, mate. Good morning. I'll just yes. call you back. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Hey, Larry, how are you doing? Good coverage there, I hope. Uh, more than 30 bananas a day, mate. That is, uh, that's dedication. That's incredible. Why did you decide to take on such a radical diet? Well, back in uh, 1999, 2000, 2001, I had a, a lot of health issues. I had Crohn's disease, chronic fatigue, asthma. And I went on, I went on what's called the paleo primal diet, where I was eating a lot of meat and uh, my health just fell apart. And I thought, enough with the fad diets. I'm going to look back what we ate you know, back in the days and what, what is healthy. So I just started doing more research on what's a healthy diet. A friend of mine loaned me a, a study from Dr. Esselstyn on reversing heart disease. And it just went from there. So that's okay. what brought me today. Yeah, and did you notice the, the turnaround in your health? How long did, did it take to notice that difference? When I gave up the dairy products, my asthma went away really quickly. I just felt a lot lighter and I started mm -hmm. breathing a lot easier. And uh, I went from there. So within two days, my breathing started clearing up. Within a week, my skin started clearing up. And it, it went from there. And the energy just went right up. Wow. Mate, it sounds like a lot, a lot of potassium and fibre, but uh, not a heck of a lot of protein in there. Is, isn't variety important in a healthy diet? It sounds like it would get as boring as any other diet. Yeah, I mean, it's not just bananas. Sometimes it's watermelon, you know. <laughs> so, okay. the World Health Organisation sets a standard of minimum 3% uh, of your calories coming from protein per day, and most fruits average 5 to 7% of calories coming from protein. So you get enough protein easily, and if you throw in some nuts or some sprouts or some lettuce or some lentils or rice or whatever, you're going to easily get enough protein as a vegan. And if I wasn't getting enough protein, I couldn't have cycled from Perth to the tip of Cape York via Adelaide in 45 days as a vegan. Wow. So I'm getting enough protein. Yeah, wow. Does that answer the, the question about protein? Pretty much, that and all does the blood it. tests. Because yeah, yeah. I, I, I eat heaps of protein, <laughs> and I couldn't do that cycle at the moment. <laughs> hey, if it, the, well, the good thing about this, Harley, means you haven't actually had to cook a meal, right? Yeah, I mean, if fruit, it's like basically just chop it and serve it. Peel it, chomp it, guzzle, gob, gobble down. It's really fast food. Oh. I don't have time for McDonald's because I've just got time for fruit. You know, just peel <laughs> it and eat it. It's quick, very quick. We know that raw foods have more nutrients than processed foods. So it's, it's really easy. Dude. And all my blood tests always come back good. Dude, wow. it's, it's expensive. I reckon I could go to an expensive restaurant and not spend as much as I would have to on 30 bananas. I shop at Organic Wholesalers last week. I got 52 kilos of organic bananas for $20. Well, that's so good. if but you that... shop around, Don't you know, they go like, off? we spend so much, or you eat them. And if you, if, you, if you have so many bananas and they're getting to the point where you might not get through them. You can just peel them and put them in the freezer and yeah. then add them to your smoothies later on. Oh, wow. So over time, you learn the tricks. All right. And th for weight loss, it's incredible. All right, monkey breath. I've seen people drop... <laughs> I've seen people drop 70 kilos on this lifestyle. Wow. And just is... totally transform their life. It's incredible stuff, mate. Good to see you healthy and, uh, and enjoying that. Very interesting yeah. stuff. We appreciate Thank your time. Thank you. No worries. It's fascinating. I'm going to try 30. I like that whole no cooking concept. Well, Co it's easy. Don't try anything without first consulting your GP. Or us. But you can call yeah. into us. We'll tell you if it's all right or not. <laughs> now, I want you to have 30 bananas tonight. Let me know. Bananas a day, more than 12,000 a year. Well, that's what health guru Harley Johnston does. He devours boxes and boxes of them. Harley reckons it's the answer to attaining good health and weight loss. But are there any dangers? Here's Francesca Belperio checking out Adelaide's own Banana Boy. Johnston is an addict. This is how many bananas I eat in a day. 
and I could easily clean this up in a week. The Adelaide cyclist goes nana for bananas. His nickname, Banana Boy. My record's 72 large Cavendish bananas. And I probably would have eaten more that day, I just ran out of ripe bananas. Some people might think you're a little nuts. Some people say I've gone a bit nuts, but I say I've just gone bananas. And he's not kidding. Breakfast, lunch and dinner is a smorgasbord of the tropical fruit. Harley chows down more than 12,000 bananas a year and claims he's bouncing off the walls. 30 for, for breakfast and maybe 20, 25 for lunch and then remainder for dinner. Did you feel ill after? Felt fantastic. Surely that can't be healthy, eating that many bananas. Yes, yeah, I get that all the time. Well, I do regular blood tests. I've actually got some blood tests here. And everything's always good. B12, iron, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D, hemoglobin, testosterone, the CRP, all these things are always excellent because I look after my health. Many years ago, I had chronic fatigue. I had Crohn's disease. I had asthma. I had bad skin. And my brothers still today, who are older than me, still get the acne flare-ups. So that was, health was my main motivation, definitely. And as an athlete now, I find this lifestyle helps my performance. Today, breakfast is a banana smoothie. 18 bananas and a little grape juice into the blender. Some people say my chromosomes link with orangutans. Peel the layers off this bike riding banana boy and there is an underlying message to his madness. Harley believes his vegan based fruitarian diet is the answer to optimum health and weight loss. And he wants to tell the masses. That's always the common notion is that fruit makes you fat, carbohydrates make you fat, fructose makes you fat. The biggest thing you do for weight loss is eat fruit and be vegan. That's the biggest tip I can give anybody for weight loss. Harley's girlfriend, who changed her name to Freely Fit Raw Vegan, is also a convert. Eating mostly bananas, dates and greens, she lost more than 30 kilos. She went from overweight to sports model. And that's, that's what we're talking about. And no starvation, no calorie restriction, no drugs, no ephedrine or whatever. Just natural eating as much as she wanted, embracing a healthy lifestyle. And just the weight just, whoosh, just melted off. Now they're attracting thousands of followers across the globe. They're among the top 10 YouTube earners in Australia, travelling the world, holding health seminars, mainly in New York. The first front row is just 20 models lined up, just like weight loss tips, yep. Because people are sick of the binge purge, the running on the drugs, the starvation. They want to eat healthy food, they want to look good, they want to feel good, they want to be slim. Eating all these bananas, would that work for everybody? Someone might not like bananas. They might not like fruit. They might prefer baked potatoes or steamed rice or steamed quinoa or millet or aramanth or barley or oats. And they go with that, that's cool. As long as it's low fat, high carbohydrate. If I can't get bananas, I eat dates, I eat persimmons, I eat pears, I eat figs, I eat grapes. You know, melons, oranges, citrus, durians, jackfruits, gramachamas, rollinias, adamoyas, things like that. A lot of different fruits. It's extreme. I mean, it's certainly not unhealthy in the sense that there's no components in banana that you would say are unhealthy. We showed nutrition expert Peter Clifton Harley's latest blood test results. He says Banana Boy is pretty healthy, but warns the diet's not for everybody. I think most people wouldn't be able to sustain just a fruit diet. Um, and it is low in protein. So unless you eat, as he does, 70 bananas a day, you're going to be a bit low in protein. Anyone who criticises my lifestyle, I'm like, here's my blood test, here's my fitness level, how come you're overweight or whatever, you know, things like that, how come you're sick, how come you're running on caffeine? It seems nothing will sway Harley to bend his banana habit, not even last year's staggering price hike which saw him spending up to $400 a week on bananas. We went to New York literally within a week, we are out of here. <laughs> Talk about being committed. So what would you do if all your mates were going out for pizza, what would you eat? <laughs> you eat, bring your bananas along. <laughs> you bring bananas? <laughs> yeah, for sure. You bring bananas to Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I've done it before. But is there going to come a day where you go, I cannot stomach another banana? That usually lasts about five hours until the next meal. <laughs> really? Yeah, definitely. So you reckon you, you can live this life for the rest of your life? You can eat bananas like this for the rest for of your sure. life? For sure. I'm definitely an extremist. I'm an extremist in that I want every household in Australia to feel great, to look great, to have enough fruits and vegetables for their children, for everybody. That a healthy lifestyle is cheaper than the unhealthy lifestyle. So that's my extremism I'm going for. And a link to Harley's website is on our Today Tonight website. Well, this is Australian Banana Board. We're going to sign that $2 million contract for what, man? But seriously, can you imagine what this is going to do for Australian fruit consumption? Mass media, over 4 million people just seen two skinny, 
fruit eaters that have lost weight and felt better from eating fruit, vegan lifestyle. So can you imagine what that's just going to do now? Long-term repercussions of that for Australia's health, fitness, and weight loss. Bring it on.